$50 in valuable coupons, and a $10 donation is given to the Ronald McDonald House. Purchase items at Cost Cutters of Central Wisconsin, the Barber's Family Hairstyle, Mullins Cheese and Knowlton, Chase Outdoors, and the Cedar Creek Mall. It's open season on cancer, a season that never ends. At a time when misinformation is all too common on social media, we take great pride in bringing you the news that matters, that impacts your family, news you can trust. Local broadcast journalists bring you the facts, covering the stories breaking in our community and across the globe. Text TV to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on local journalism. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. You're watching NBC 12, your home for dramas, game shows, comedies, and sports. NBC 12, from where you live. Weather Watch 12 with Devin Biggs, 5 to 7 a.m. I've been working all weekend with our banking regulators to design appropriate uh, policies to address this situation. Right now on News Watch 12 today, President Biden is preparing to speak about Silicon Valley Bank following its collapse and the loss of people's money. Plus... All right, the snow's starting to move out of here now, but still a few flurries could fall today. Your full forecast is coming up. And find out how you can watch the 19th annual State of Tribes Address. It's Monday, March 13th. News Watch 12 Today with Jackie Smith and Devin Biggs. Good morning and thank you for starting your day with us. I'm Jackie Smith. Michael Holtz has the day off. And yep, we definitely got some snow this weekend. And people are pretty torn on the this is enough or please never let it stop. And we have Devin in the Weather Center. And Devin, what side are you on? Are you on the like, can we just get to spring or are you just let all the snow come? You know, to be honest, I'm kind of split right now because I mean, I don't mind the snow, but I'm not going to lie. It is March. I am kind of ready for spring. But you know what? I'm a snow guy. I'm not much mm -hmm. of a cold guy. I like the snow. But yeah, there's an overwhelming majority, at least verbal on social, that's definitely very ready for the snow to be done. But sometimes the silent majority can be rather quiet too with, the, with regards to that like the snow. So it's really kind of hard to say. It's really kind of what per people's personal opinion is. But otherwise, we can see the moon out there this morning. So the clouds have broken up for a while. Don't let them fool you because we will be watching for clouds and flurries moving in. The roads are a mess over in Park Falls this morning, but the snow's starting to back off. Visibility levels have improved dramatically. Just need to get the plow some time to take care of things, and the roads will do better later today. And some of that sun's energy will get through the clouds as well, and that will help the roads out. The snow is moving away from us now. All advisories in our viewing area have since been dropped, so we're all done with all the active weather, so we're looking pretty good moving forward. Where we're not looking good is the roads. I mean, there's a lot of pink on this map, which means snow or ice-covered roads. A, few, a lot of areas of blue, which means some slippery stretches as well. Those temperatures right now are in the upper teens to over 20. So for now, that snow is sticking around. But, but out the door today, again, a few flurries possible. Temperatures warming up today, but not as much below normal today, only making it into the middle 20s. More than 1.6 million Wisconsinites will soon need to apply to renew their Medicaid enrollment or risk losing coverage. Congress passed a law in March 2020 that prevented states from kicking people out of Medicaid programs, meaning many could stay enrolled without needing to renew. But that is set to change after federal lawmakers voted in December of last year to phase out the continuous coverage requirement. Now, state health officials are warning Wisconsin residents enrolled in Badger Care Plus and other Medicaid programs to be on the lookout for renewal deadlines that will come up between June and May 2024. They are also urging Wisconsinites to update their contact information so the health department can send them a packet, which will let them know when they have 45 days to renew. Senator Tammy Baldwin reintroduced the American Aviator Act on Friday. The bipartisan legislation would increase opportunities and expand flight training services for veterans to become commercial airline pilots. The American Aviator Act would authorize grant funding through the FAA to support training opportunities for veterans who are not already a military pilot. Veterans participating in the program will receive training to become commercial pilots or receive other certifications, including working as a flight instructor. 
the legislation helps ensure there are qualified, enough qualified pilots in the future to continue providing safe and reliable air service to rural airports across the country. On April 4th, voters all across Wisconsin will make their choice for the next state Supreme Court justice. Voters will also be asked referendum questions on bail and one on welfare. In addition to these statewide races, there are also a handful of local ones for town supervisors, school board members, and some counties like Oneida are electing circuit court judges. If you want more information on the races in your area, you can visit vote411.org slash Wisconsin. It was created by the League of Women Voters in 2006. The League asks all the local candidates the same questions and then posts their answers in their own words. In addition to the ballot and candidate information, you can also find your registration status and look up your polling place. Later this week, the 19th Annual State of Tribes Address will be held at the State Capitol Building in Madison. The Great Lakes Intertribal Council has announced that the Sakagan Chippewa Tribal Chairman Robert Van Zyl will give the address. Last year, Stockbridge Muncie President Shannon Holsey delivered the address. The speech will be live streamed on Wisconsin Eye and PBS Wisconsin and takes place on Tuesday starting at 1 p.m. The State of the Tribes Address began in 2005. The Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection is announcing the six top candidates to become the 76th Alice in Dairyland. According to the media release from DAT Cap, the candidates are Ashley Hagnow, Shannon Lamb, Lydia Luke, Jackie Rosenbush, Charity Seebecker, and Jody Wyland. The media release says prior to being selected, the candidates completed an application and preliminary interview. The three-day Alice in Dairyland finals is scheduled for May 11th through the 13th in Walworth County. For more information about the finalists, you can visit AliceInDairyland.com. <music> President Joe Biden will deliver remarks today on how the U.S. will maintain a steady banking system. And this comes less than a week after Silicon Valley Bank collapsed and caused the second largest failure of a financial institution in U.S. history. John Lawrence reports. Customers of the collapsed Silicon Valley Bank can exhale. President Joe Biden says their money is safe. In a statement Sunday, the White House said Americans can have, quote, confidence that their bank deposits will be there when they need them. I've been working all weekend with our banking regulators to design appropriate uh, policies to address this situation. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says the government has no plans to bail out SVB, but she adds steps will be taken to provide assistance in resolving the matter. I can't really provide further details at this time, but what I do want to do yeah. is emphasize that the American banking system is really um, safe and well capitalized, it's resilient. Silicon Valley Bank crumbled Friday morning in what is the largest closure of a U.S. lender since 2008. There are a lot of unanswered questions here. I think we're gonna wanna dive into uh, how the, the bank could have uh, made such poor decisions and put uh, so many of its customers and others at risk. And lawmakers say there needs to be repercussions for this failure. We cannot keep bailing out private companies um, because there's no consequences to their actions. People, when they make mistakes or break the law, have to be held accountable in this country. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Coming up in international news, see what major milestone Pope Francis is celebrating today. Plus, hear about the French government's plan to reform their pension system. Those stories and more news from around the world when we come back. Benny's Appliance Service, serving Rhinelander, Eagle River, Manaqua, and surrounding area. 35 years of experience, prompt professional service on all brands, emergency service available. For 25 years, Janet Protasewicz was a prosecutor, fighting for justice for victims of crime, helping people like her and him and them. She believes everyone has the right to a safe community. 
As a judge, Janet upholds the Constitution, and she fiercely guards our rights and our freedoms. Judge Janet will bring change to the court. A common sense, impartial judge who cares about us. Janet Protasewicz for Supreme Court. Looking to break into the world of broadcast television? WJFW is now hiring for various positions. Go to WJFW.com to apply. Don't miss this opportunity. Fishing for the best deal on a new boat and motor? Then get to American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Pick from hundreds of boats and pontoons in stock at the largest showroom in the USA. Then increase your power with a Mercury motor on your new dream boat. We'll beat any boat price by 500 bucks and trade in your old boat and motor for even more savings. Hook the best deal on new boats and Mercury motors at American Marine at Motorsports. Shawano. Visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Akusa to experience exciting action on the hottest slot machines and electronic table games. With big fun, you get bigger rewards while playing with your Rewards Club card. Enjoy special gaming offers, food and entertainment discounts, and more. Hungry? No problem. Escape to the oasis of Swiftwater Lounge for drinks, food, and fun. We'll see you at Ho-Chunk Gaming Akusa, your place to play. Weather Watch 12 with Devin Biggs, 5 to 7 a.m. Welcome back. Things are starting to calm down out there now. Now we're starting to dig out. The road's going to be a little messy for a while yet, but we'll get some of that sun energy moving through. We do have clouds still moving through, but the moon is peeking out, which means we could see some sunshine for a while this morning. And since that sunshine is getting stronger, that should help out the roads as the day progresses on. But again, visibility levels are improving. Maybe a few flurries, light snow showers further down to the south in a few spots. But otherwise, we're starting to calm down. All advisories have been dropped from our viewing area, but the last 48 hours have been interesting, right? Look at Wausau, just over a foot of snow. Merrill just at a foot. Right later, not too far away from that. Uh, and other spots we're seeing are around 10 inches of snow. So definitely a healthy snowfall. That definitely overachieved in a few spots. And we're not done yet. Even though we're done for a few days, we're going to be adding even more potential for precipitation later this week. We're at 29 inches of snow on the ground right now. So very impressive out there for this time of the year, though, with, with this around 30 inches, 30 inches of snow almost on the ground. I haven't seen this since my first year up here when I moved up here here in the Northwoods. So it definitely tells you it's been a little bit. But yes, the month total, 22 inches. Add a point two to that, 22.2 inches. I measured two, uh, another 0 0.2 inches of snow this morning. That will get reflected on this graphic by tomorrow morning. 93.4 inches for the season. That actually hits the top five snowiest seasons on record now. So we'll be reflecting that moving forward. The previous uh, number five record was 92.9 inches. So very interesting there. And of course, 10.5 uh, inches of snow yesterday. So we've added another 0.2 inches of snow this morning. But otherwise, here we are. So the snow is starting to track away now. Here's that area of low pressure right there. You can see the rotation there as well. So it's moving away from us now. So we're pretty much done with all the excitement. We'll have a couple days to kind of catch up, get the roads in better shape as high pressure will start to get closer to us. So that high pressure is sending some drier air in our direction may allow the sunshine to peak out from time to time as well. But again, the clouds will kind of be intermittent as well. So future gas for today, mostly cloudy, a few lake effect flurries out there today. But again, nothing too extreme. We'll even start to clear out at times tonight. I think future cast is overdoing the clouds tonight. I do think we'll become more in the mostly clear sky. But then by Tuesday, I do agree with this. We'll see a lot of sunshine for the day for your Tuesday. So if the roads don't recover much today, they will recover more by the daytime tomorrow. Before I guess what, another system starts to approach later into the week. So let's look further ahead here. So by Wednesday or so, by Wednesday, by Thursday, excuse me, we'll be watching for rain. So here's a clock right here, Thursday morning, a chance for rain showers possible. And then we're going to be watching for even more rain as we head towards Thursday evening, but a transition of snow. And that transition time will be tricky because that could mean some significant snowfall in a few spots and even some gusty winds and snow that could even continue as we head towards Saturday night. So we have time to watch this. It's definitely farther out by the end of the week, but still some issues to keep an eye on. Quick look at the temperatures, upper te teens to lower 20s right now. So temperatures are definitely 
cool out there, but we're not warming up much today at all. Mid 20s today, mostly cloudy, a few flurries, and that north wind getting up to 20 miles per hour. For tonight, one below, mostly clear skies, and that north wind at about 15 miles per hour early. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven day forecast. Tuesday, lots of sunshine. Wednesday, more clouds. Thursday night into Friday, we watch, or excuse me, Wednesday night into Thursday, we're watching out for rain, but we switch over to snow starting Thursday night through Friday, and some of that will also linger as we head towards your Saturday. Thank you, Devin. We are learning about another case of three women who live in Texas, now missing in Mexico. Authorities say three women crossed into Mexico on February 24th to sell clothes at a flea market. Family members say they have not heard from Marina Perez Rio, her sister Martiza, or Dora Alicia Cervantes, and are concerned about their safety. State police and the FBI are now investigating. The disappearance of these women come just days after members of a Mexican cartel allegedly kidnapped four Americans and killed two of their captives. The state of Texas is urging people not to visit Mexico for spring break. The Department of Public Safety there is warning that a spike in drug cartel violence across the border could cost travelers their lives. And after weeks of protests, the French government is pushing ahead with plans to reform the pension system. By a vote of 195 to 112, the country's Senate has adopted a bill backed by President Emmanuel Macron. The bill would gradually raise the retirement age from 62 to 64, and it's still several steps away from becoming law. Police say more than 1.2 million people protested the plan last week, and strikes have disrupted power, oil refineries, schools, airports, and trains. Pope Francis is making a major milestone today. He has served 10 years as head of the Roman Catholic Church. He will hold a mass with cardinals to celebrate the anniversary. The mass will take place in the chapel of the Vatican's Santa Marta Hotel, where Francis has lived since he became Pope. Francis made history in 2013 when he became the first Pope from Latin America. He succeeded Benedict XVI, who became the first Pope in six centuries to resign. Francis is 86, and Francis has said that he would be ready to step down if his health prevented him from leading the church. But he also says he believes popes should try to reign for life. The time is 5.16, and coming up in medical news, new help could be coming out for those with migraines. Plus, learn about the details surrounding the albuterol shortage and what's to come. Those stories and more health news when we return. Hi, you know me. I'm Karen from The Hearing House. Have you noticed there's a lot of talk about hearing aids lately? That's because they improve so much. Our clients tell us things are clearer, more natural sounding, music sounds better, and they hear better in background noise. But wait, that's not all. They love the Bluetooth streaming with their smartphones and their TVs. If you want to learn about better hearing, call the Hearing House. Hearing aids are all we do, so we do it right. Our house, a hearing house. Who doesn't love ice cream? Enter the birthday club contest at WJFW.com for your chance to win a free single scoop of ice cream from the country store of Eagle River. Watch News Watch 12 today, Monday through Friday, to see the lucky winner of the day. So right, Jake Middle, and the left. Yeah, I knew I'd win! Are you saying What's something? What's really happening over there? I think you're on mute. There is no substitute for real gaming fun. Go where fun lives. Old <laughs> Chum Gaming Wittenberg. <laughs> Good news! This just in. Your Ford dealers have fresh shipments of their award-winning SUV lineup in stock and ready for you to drive home today. Get your hands on a new Ford, the number one brand in SUV owner loyalty, including Bronco Sport with standard GOAT modes and Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And now, here's more good news. Choose Flex Buy on Escape and get 2.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 1,500 Flex Buy cash. I'm Lynette. This is my husband, Arthur. Yeah, you wouldn't believe we're in our 70s. Huh? <laughs> 
I have recommended consumer cellular to so many people. She was the one to convince me to come over to her side. <laughs> That's right. Come on over to Consumer Cellular and save. AARP members get two lines of unlimited talk, text, and data for just $55 a month. The coverage has been excellent. You know, it gives us exactly what we want. You should go with Consumer Cellular. Switch today. Call or go online. The Northwoods provides plenty of beauty year-round, and the weather events that develop can produce some amazing photos. Submit yours online at WJFW's Weather Photo section on the website to share with the WJFW weather team. And welcome back. Many plowers are out this morning. The roads are starting to improve, but it's going to be a little slippery out there from time to time. So definitely allow some extra time to get to work or school. And a quick friendly reminder, hopefully mostly remember to set your clocks forward early Sunday morning. But if you haven't yet, it's now 519, not 419. Thank you, Devin. A nationwide shortage of albuterol continues. The asthma medication has been in short supply since October, according to the FDA. And now experts fear it's going to get worse. One of the drug manufacturers, Acorn Pharmaceuticals, filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in February and reportedly closed its facilities. Another manufacturer, Nephron Pharmaceuticals, continues to manufacture the drug. It's important to note the shortage does not include albuterol inhalers for personal use, only the aerosolized solution that is used in a nebulizer is impacted. Pharmacists and physicians continue to try to resolve the issue before it reaches the consumer. Migraine sufferers will soon have something new to try and relieve their headaches fast. Pfizer says the Food and Drug Administration has approved its new nasal spray for adults with migraines. The drug manufacturer says the spray is called Zafred and is considered a rapid rescue treatment. Pfizer said the nasal spray could relieve migraine pain within 15 minutes. There are a number of oral medications on the market for migraines, and Zasprite uses the same chemical mechanism as some of them. That's important because many people with migraines have significant nausea and can't tolerate medications they have to swallow. A new recommendation from the Centers of Disease Control suggests all adults get tested for hepatitis B at least once in their lifetime. Hepatitis B is an illness linked to liver disease and cancer. The CDC estimates half a million to two and a half million people live with hepatitis B and two-thirds of them might not know about their infection. The CDC's previous recommendation for testing was made 15 years ago in 2008. And at that time, they urged testing for anyone at high risk. Now, the agency recommends screening for everyone 18 and older at least once. Around 37 million adults in the U.S. are estimated to have chronic kidney disease, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And many of them don't know they have it. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither goes over the symptoms and why treating it early is critical in honor of National Kidney Month. It's known as a silent killer. In the early stages of kidney disease, many don't feel sick. You can lose up to 75% of your kidney function before you begin to manifest symptoms. The CDC says if kidneys don't work well, toxic waste and extra fluid builds up in the body. It can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, even early death. Symptoms that can appear in later stages of kidney disease include fatigue, muscle aches, swelling of face, ankles, or hands. If you're diagnosed early, there are strategies available to keep your kidneys functioning as, as close to normal as possible, as long as possible. That's why health experts say to know your risks of kidney disease and talk to your doctor about it. If they have diabetes or high blood pressure, or a family history of kidney disease, or if they have heart disease, or if they're over 60, they should talk to their health care provider to see if they've been tested, and if not, to be tested. You can also protect your kidney health through a healthy lifestyle. That includes watching your weight, being active, and not smoking. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. And coming up in the next half hour, find out how first-time hunters can learn all they need to know to get started. And hear about a new program helping people with their basic needs. Stay with us. I started to see 
see Dr. Drager in September. Back pain, nerve pain, right leg would go numb, foot would go numb. We did some x-rays. He determined that it had some pinched nerves. He could fix it without surgery through a series of impulse and laser treatment. The reason the lasers work is they go to the root of the problem. They go deep into the tissue to heal the nerves, to help repair them and bring blood supply back to the area. The nerve pain went away, the tingling went away in my feet, felt great. There's a lot of talk about lasers now, but not all lasers are created equally. You need to have the high intense lasers to have the true effect. Goodwill starts with you every time you shop and donate. Your support opens the door to new opportunities and creates possibilities for people with barriers to employment. When you shop Goodwill, you'll find home decor, clothing that fits your unique style, and other one-of-a-kind treasures. You'll also keep items out of the landfill, all while supporting job training, financial coaching, and more. When you shop at and donate to Goodwill, you open doors to possibilities for neighbors in your community. Goodwill starts with you. I know that I can handle schooling my children because the RVA provides the tools that I need. The RVA has adjusted curriculum by placing children right where their learning is. That's the number one goal is to make sure that your children are learning and so you don't move on if, they're, if they haven't grasped the concept. You stop, pause, and you make sure that you grasp that before you move on. The RVA will work with your child's needs and will provide the support and the attention that your child not only needs but deserves. Sore back but hate mattress shopping? Yes. Totally dread it. Totally. Totally. Come to Slumberland and see how we've made mattress shopping easy. How easy is that? So easy. So easy. <laughs> Get your sleep solution at Slumberland Furniture. You can always find great looking furniture at incredible everyday low prices at Slumberland Furniture. Like these modern sectionals and sofas, starting as low as $3.99. And always free doorstep shipping. Get your look. For less. At Slumberland Furniture. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Monaco. You're going to need a bigger boat. What do you call a fish with cable? Why, telefishing, of course. All right, so we start off this week's Big Old Fish with seven-year-old Tucker Hartman. Now, he was fishing on Pine Lake and Hiles when he hauled this beautiful 25-inch walleye. Incidentally, it took him 15 minutes to land. Well, why wouldn't it? That's a big old fish. Way to go, Tucker. Keep on reeling them in. Next up on this week's big old fish, we have Laura Schultz, who caught this 40-inch gator of a northern on an Oneida County Lake while being guided by Rick Whitehead. 40 inches, northern... Yeah, that's a big old fish. Way to go, Laura. Keep on reeling them in. And finally on this week's big old fish, we have Gary Kuehler. He definitely got himself into a big old fish when he speared the 74-inch, 125 and one-half pound sturgeon on Lake Winnebago. Yeah, nothing more needs to be said there, Gary. That is one big old fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling them in. All right, fishermen and women, make sure to keep those trophy pictures coming. All the information you need to be in a future episode of Big Old Fish and win a Northern Taxidermy Fish Meal is on our website, WJFW.com. And remember, anglers, fish on. All right, I think we can hear me now. So, yeah, so this, we got a decent amount of snowfall over the weekend. Many areas saw around a foot of snow. It definitely looks like a winter wonderland out here for this time of the year. Temperatures right now in the upper, tw upper teens to lower 20s. So, overall, not too bad right now. And, I mean, road conditions are not the greatest either. Let's show you that map. And, again, a lot of pink on the map, which indicates snow-covered roads and a few slippery stretches in the blue. We'll work on that, though, as the day progresses on, especially if you get a little sunshine rolling. But the radar and style has started to calm down for us, so as everything started to track off towards the south and east with regards to the organized snow. But a few lake effect flurries will also be possible today as we get a northerly flow going, especially over Lake Superior. 
Here's the travel forecast for today. Again, roads will improve as the day progresses on. We'll have temperatures in the upper 20s in the western parts of the state. For us, though, all right, we're going to be seeing temperatures that will be in the middle 20s with a mostly cloudy sky. Or further down to the south, maybe a few leftover snow showers and temperatures in the 30s. A little more coming up after the break. What does it cost to buy off a judge? For extremist Dan Kelly, he's for sale for $20,000. In 2020, Kelly conveniently changed his mind about whether to judge the Tim Zignego case. Kelly had recused himself. Then he pocketed $20,000 in contributions from Zignego and his family, and Kelly unrecused himself so he could judge the case. Justice shouldn't be for sale. Dan Kelly is too corrupt, too extreme. Is a new roof on your spring to-do list? Hi, I'm Paul, owner of Overhead Solutions. Now is a great time to think ahead and secure a spot for that replacement on our schedule. Go ahead and call our competitors, but before you sign on that dotted line, call Overhead Solutions. I believe our high quality and fair price can beat our competition. Call Overhead Solutions for a free roof estimate. Remember, don't overpay. Call Overhead. Overhead Solutions. Menke Automotive is your new neighbor in central Wisconsin, so now you've got a friend in the auto business. Menke Automotive prides ourselves on having happy employees because happy employees make for happy customers. When you need a new Buick, GMC, or Mazda, expert service, precision body work, or just a hot cup of coffee, come in and get to know us at Menke Automotive at the old Fred Miller location on Grand Avenue in Schofield. Menke Automotive, your new neighbors in central Wisconsin. For 25 years, Janet Protasewicz was a prosecutor, fighting for justice for victims of crime, helping people like her and him and them. She believes everyone has the right to a safe community. As a judge, Janet upholds the Constitution, and she fiercely guards our rights and our freedoms. Judge Janet will bring change to the court. A common sense, impartial judge who cares about us. Janet Protasewicz for Supreme Court. News Watch 12 Today with Jackie Smith and Devin Biggs. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us. I'm Jackie Smith. Michael Woodholtz has the day off. So don't go chasing these waterfalls unless you've got snow boots on. Eric Peterson takes us to one of Wisconsin's famous frozen falls in Marinette County. From its headwaters near Crandon, the Peshtigo River flows more than 135 miles before reaching the waters of Green Bay. But at a place called Goodman County Park, water begins to swell and gain momentum. It's not the biggest falls, um, but it really takes on a cool shape. Coming under the bridge, it flows over quite a few rocks. And just the power that goes through it, I mean, it's strong falls. So even though it might not be the biggest drop you've ever seen, the amount of water that comes gushing through that thing is amazing to watch. Marinette County Development and Tourism Program Assistant Autumn Rockhill says Strong Falls is a popular destination especially in the winter. With the snow over it, the ice formations that get created, but it's amazing to see that water still flowing no matter how cold it gets. Rock Hill says it's been a relatively mild winter in the area northwest of Wasaki, with snow piling up only recently. She says spring-like weather is on its way and will have an impact on this winter waterfall. You could come on a Monday and a Friday and have a totally different site. So that's one of the really cool things is just to watch the way nature is changing, the way the weather is working with the, the water that's flowing, and just to see the differences and the amazing things that can occur in just a short amount of time. And those are some absolutely stunning views, and it's really fun to kind of get a different experience each time. But definitely, if you're going to go check that out, or if you're really going to do anything, make sure you have some snowshoes. Even, Devin, it feels like leaving, like, our front doors today. If you didn't, if you haven't started your shoveling, it feels like you need snowshoes. Oh, goodness, yeah, many are going to be hurting with the, with all the snow we've got. No, overall, though, the entire event total, some spots saw a foot or more of snow. Wow. So the system, I think it's safe to say, definitely overachieved in a few spots. So... I know the snowmobilers and skiers, they might They're still happy. be they might be happy about this so but I know we're gonna get we're starting to see a, a more was bleh, if I can spit it out this morning. That time change has us all messed up this mm -hmm. morning. So but yeah, some people are definitely ready for spring as well. I'm kinda mixed. I mean 
mean, I don't mind the snow. I'm not a big fan of cold snow, but snows, I'm fine with it right now. But yeah, I'm starting to, I'm kind of ready for spring too. It just kind of depends on how you look at things. But otherwise, let's get things rolling out there this morning. Park Falls, I mean, not too bad out there. Roads are still not the greatest, but they will be improving as the day progresses on. But otherwise, here we are. So again, visibility levels. They're looking pretty good right now. So we're seeing many areas at around 10 miles, which is where it should be for good visibility as things have started to calm down. Snow tracking from the northwest going toward the south and east. A few flurries tracking from the north. I did see some flurries in Park Falls earlier on the sky cam, so that cannot be ruled out at all today. But again, roads, it's going to take a bit for this map to really improve. A lot of pink on the map indicating snow or ice-covered roads and blue areas indicating slippery stretches. So the road's not great this morning, so definitely allow extra time to get to where you need to go. Temperatures right now are in the upper teens to lower 20s. We're not going to warm up much from here. Maybe middle 20s at best. So that, that snow we saw today, the snow not going anywhere anytime soon. Bus stop forecast for today, upper teens and a mostly cloudy sky. As the kids come home, here we go. Middle 20s and a mostly cloudy sky. Thank you, Devin. The Wisconsin DNR is offering a class about learning to hunt, harvest, and cook wild upland birds in the Rhinelander area. Adult participants will learn how and where to hunt ruffed grouse through discussions, demonstrations, and hands-on experiences. There will be opportunities to shoot a shotgun with a coach on a trap range and go on a mentored hunt. All equipment will be provided for the event, with the first class being held on April 18th at 6 p.m. at the Hodag Sports Club. There is no fee, but pre-registration is required on the DNR's website. For people struggling financially in the Northwoods, there is good news. A local church has an assistance program to help those in need. The United Methodist Church of Rhinelander opens their personal essentials pantry twice a month, offering items which they might not be able to buy otherwise. Items available include dish soap, toilet paper, toothpaste, and other hygiene items. The program is free of charge to registered individuals. PEP is open on the second Monday and last Saturday of each month, which means that it will be open today. For more information on how to receive items or to donate, you can contact the First United Methodist Church in Rhinelander. And coming up, the Oscars took place last night with some big winners and some big losers. We'll have the highlights, including which film came out on top everywhere all at once. Your entertainment news coming up after this. Now's the time to save on big projects. Hurry into Menards for 11% off everything. Get 11% off easy flooring updates for your home. Find your style and save 11% on Patriot Lighting. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a new kitchen. Don't miss out. There's no limit to what you can save with 11% off everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. What does it cost to buy off a judge? For extremist Dan Kelly, he's for sale for $20,000. In 2020, Kelly conveniently changed his mind about whether to judge the Tim Zignego case. Kelly had recused himself. Then he pocketed $20,000 in contributions from Zignego and his family, and Kelly unrecused himself so he could judge the case. Justice shouldn't be for sale. At Wausau Weight Loss, we know the secret. Our unique doctor supervised program makes it easy to lose weight, get healthy, and get your energy back safely, naturally, and effectively. If you'd love to lose unhealthy fat without counting points or calories, no exercising, no prepackaged meals, no HCG, no drugs, no hypnosis or surgery, call Wausau Weight Loss today at 715 203 8695. Hi, I'm Janelle. I've lost 70 pounds in 30 inches. I know the secret. I feel great now after losing the 70 pounds. I can do stairs. I don't have pain through the day, through the night. As a breast cancer survivor, I knew I needed to lose the weight to prevent future health issues. I feel great living each day with hope for my future. For your free private weight loss consultation, call Wausau Weight Loss today at 715-203-8695. We know the secret.com.
Welcome back. Road conditions not great out there this morning as we saw some snow last night. And even a few flurries that are falling right now over in Park Falls. It might be hard to see, but I do see snow falling. I'm looking at one of the city lights there, and I do see some snow falling. That is leg effect snow flurries that we're noticing out there this morning. Well, otherwise, roads not the greatest, so definitely want to allow some extra time to get to your morning destination, though. But visibility levels are at least good, so if you travel, you can at least see where you're going. So that's the good news, as most of the snow has got out of here, and we have no advisory in effect either that has since been dropped this morning here's the overall totals that we ha we've gotten so far that we know of so wall saw the big winner at around 15.3 inches of snow merrill around a foot of snow rylander 11.3 inches that's the event total so far another spot so at around 10 inches of snow so this system definitely overachieved in a few spots and there's another system on the way later this week as this pattern continues to remain active let's break down what this system did we have 29 inches of snow on the ground right now in rylander 23 inches of snow over in the Wausau area definitely a lot of snow for this time of the year in March but again here's kind of the way this breaks down so the month total at around at around 22 inches and really you could say 22.2 inches of that because we had a zero point another 0.2 inches of snow this morning that will be reflected here by tomorrow once it gets once it goes through the official national weather service system but look at this number right here 93.4 inches that is a new top five uh, snowfall record there for number five the previous record there for the number five top snowiest winter was 92.9 inches so now we get to add to that now and uh, see what this kind of ranks before we're all finished up there so some decent snowfall now we can say this is at least a top five snowiest winter but otherwise here we are so we're watching snow tracking off towards the south and east right now in southern wisconsin so they're still seeing some snow we have a few lake effect flurries that we're noticing this morning as the system tracks off towards the south and east with a northerly flow there as well over an open lake superior so that's why we're dealing with some lake effect snow there but otherwise here's how this is going to break down for today even though high pressure is nearby We'll be mostly cloudy today. A few breaks in the clouds could give us a little bit of sunshine as well. But later on tonight, I think we'll be mostly clear. I think this overdoes it on the clouds a bit. I think we will become mostly clear later tonight, allowing temperatures to cool off. I do believe we'll see a lot of sunshine for the day for you Tuesday. So that will allow temperatures to warm up. And any roads that are still in rough shape will begin to improve with that stronger sunshine. But then by Wednesday night to Thursday, our next system starts to approach. And it looks a little bit like this. So by the time we head towards Wednesday night to Thursday, a little bit of rain can be could be possible possible first and then we'll keep a little bit of rain going again as we head towards late Thursday and the Thursday night by Thursday night to Friday we start to transition to a little bit of a winter mix if not all snow for a few spots and where it snows some significant accumulations cannot be ruled out either and that snow could also linger through Saturday before it starts to back off as we head towards the Sunday so we'll need to keep an eye on this system as it does develop but our routine is still over 20s for those temperatures right now we'll only warm up into the middle 20s today so unfortunately that snow won't be melting much moving forward for today, middle 20s, mostly cloudy, a few flurries. North wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. By tonight, here we are, one below, mostly clear, with that north wind getting up to around 15 miles per hour. North Woods Furniture and Mattress, seven-day forecast. So again, sunshine Tuesday, we're dry Wednesday. Rain chances Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday night, a wintry mix as we transition with snow falling Friday and also on Saturday. Thank you, Devin. Very likely. The celebrations are still going on in Hollywood this morning for the winners at Sunday night's Academy Awards. One film in particular came up very big. Jennifer Borkland has all the highlights from Hollywood. And the Oscar goes to everything, everywhere, all at once. That summed up Sunday night's Academy Awards in a nutshell. The quirky multiverse saga dominated with seven wins, including Best Picture. This award is ours. The film's creators, Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheiner, shared Best Original Screenplay as well as Best Director, while Michelle Yeoh won Best Actress, the first Asian woman and only the second woman of color to earn the award. For all the little boys and girls who look like me watching tonight, <laughs> this is the beacon of hope and possibilities. Yo's victory, one of three acting prizes for the film. <laughs> the former child actor and Vietnamese refugee overcome with emotion in winning Best Supporting Actor. This, this is the American dream. And just moments after Kwan's victory, <laughs> Jamie Lee. His castmate, daughter of screen legends Janet Lee and Tony Curtis, won Best Supporting Actress. I just won an Oscar. 
Even the best actor winner was caught up in the everything wave. So this is what the multiverse looks like. Brendan Fraser soaking in his win for the whale. I'm grateful to Darren Aronofsky for throwing me a creative lifeline and hauling me aboard the good ship, the whale. And for the show itself, it was relative smooth sailing. If anything unpredictable or violent happens during the ceremony, just do what you did last year. Nothing. It was a night where the buzz was about the winners. Jennifer Bjorkland, NBC News, Hollywood. We look at structure fires. It's not just one department that shows up. It's multiple departments. They all have to be able to work together. And this gives them the chance to work together before there's an actual emergency. Case of an emergency, especially when you're an emergency responder. Learn about the fire training put on by North Central Technical College instructors, instructors in how this helped prepare firefighters. There are so many things we take for granted, and along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted, too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Sore back but hate mattress shopping? Yes. Totally dread it. Totally. Totally. Come to Slumberland and see how we've made mattress shopping easy. How easy is that? So easy. So easy. <laughs> Get your sleep solution at Slumberland Furniture. You can always find great looking furniture at incredible everyday low prices at Slumberland Furniture. Like these modern sectionals and sofas, starting as low as $3.99. And always free doorstep shipping. Get your look. For less. At Slumberland Furniture. This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time Part of F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight. All amped up and ready for work or play. Plus, there's a great selection in stock and ready for delivery today. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you. Now, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 F-150 with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months and 1,000 Flex Buy cash plus 1,000 Ford credit cash. Hi, I'm Karen, and this is my husband, Todd. Today's hearing aids are impressive. 48 channel dual processing, directional beam forming, Bluetooth streaming from phones and TV, very cool stuff. You're such a hearing aid geek. We both know that people need a place where they can go, with people they can trust and who will listen. If that's what you're looking for, call the hearing house. Hearing aids are all we do. So we do it right. Your house, a hearing house. To right, Jake Middle, and on the left. Yeah, I knew I'd win. Are you saying something? Really happening over there? I think you're on mute. There's no substitute for real gaming fun. Go where fun lives. Old Chun Gaming Wittenberg. Welcome back. A Stevens Point native competed in her first ever collegiate national championship meet for track and field over the weekend. Saul Meyer has all the highlights. The indoor track and field national championship was Friday and Saturday in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And Spash native Roisin Willis made her presence known as one of the best collegiate athletes in the country. The freshman had a solid year at Stanford this season. And at the national meet, she competed and won the indoor 800 meters with a time of 159.93. This time also secured her the school facility and meet record. Willis in the same meet won the distance medley relay and finished the 4 by 400 relay with a time of 332.80. She's now a three-time first-team All-American as a freshman. And as a team, though, Stanford finished in fourth place. But congratulations to Roisin. 
After taking down Gibraltar 66-54 on Saturday, the Newman Catholic boys basketball team is going to state. The Fighting Cardinals will be representing the area as the number one overall seed for Division 5. They were able to become sectional champs after beating Gibraltar and regional champs after beating Columbus Catholic. Newman Catholic will be coming into the tournament with a 25-4 overall record. Their first game will be Friday, March 17th at 9 a.m. at the Cole Center in Madison against Royal. Good luck to the Fighting Cards. Switching gears to college basketball, Marquette's men's basketball team won the Big East Conference Tournament after taking down Xavier 65-51 to to win their first conference tournament in school history. They now qualify for the March Madness Tournament and are going into that tournament with a 28-6 overall record. That was good enough to give them the number two seed in the East region where they will take on the number 15 seed, Vermont, in the opening round. Good luck to the Golden Eagles at the Big Dance. On Saturday, the Milwaukee Bucks had an away game against the Golden State Warriors. The last time these two teams saw each other, the Bucks got the best of the Warriors, but Saturday's game went a little different. Giannis Antetokounmpo was out this game as he continues to nurse a hand injury. The Warriors led all throughout the game until the Bucks came roaring back in the fourth quarter to take the lead. But then in overtime and in the fourth quarter, Steph Curry took over, scoring 22 points in the fourth quarter and overtime combined, which ultimately gave them the win 125-116. to 116. Drew Holiday spoke about the pace of the game against Steph Curry. I think we played our own game. Um, I think a little bit in that first half, we just started playing fast. It's just as fast as they play. And you're not going to beat them at their game. So uh, we kind of locked in defensively and, and got rebounds and pushed it. Uh, we played our game. And um, honestly, I think we did a good job of that. Just down the stretch, man, we need to take out the ball. With Giannis Antetokounmpo out, other players had to pick up the production. One of the players that was able to do that was center Brooke Lopez. I thought we, we showed great composure, you know, uh, we had a lot of guys step up in big moments, make big shots, good stops, uh, you know, so, so it's it uh, you know, positive experience, you know, unfortunately we lost, we, we felt like we should have had it, they obviously played really well, uh, but, but there's a lot of good takeaways. The Bucks will be back in action Monday night against the Kings in Sacramento. Back to y'all morning crew. All right, thank you, Sauls. We got things rolling out here this morning. I'm going to move over here. I'm on a pile of snow here because it continues to get taller. And just to give you a point of reference, I'm just under six foot for height. And so this snow pile continues to get taller. It's about the same height as Buck Zero right now, too. So definitely getting very interesting at this point. But temperatures right now are in the upper teens to lower 20s. I can see the moon over there, too, but some clouds kind of hanging around, too. Mostly cloudy with a few flurries with a general idea today. Road, road conditions are not great either. Let's show you that graphic right now. And again, many areas seeing some pink on the map. That means snow-covered roads. The blue means slippery stretches. So please be smart as you do make that morning commute. But here's the radar and satellite. Things are improving. Just mostly cloudy will be the general idea for us today. The organized snow moving away. A few flurries will be possible for us moving forward. Travel forecast for today showing you a little bit of this. Temperatures in the upper 20s with a mostly cloudy sky today. We'll notice the sunshine from time to time as well. For us, a little bit cooler. Middle 20s in our neck of the woods as we push this map to the east with a mostly cloudy sky and further down to the south a little bit warmer with 30s that'll be on the way a little more coming up after the break northland basement systems is the all things basementy company basement waterproofing basement finishing basement structural repair humidity and mold control and nasty crawl spaces too when it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Mark your calendars and spring into summer with the 34th Annual Wisconsin River Pro Rodeo. Enjoy three action-packed days of a professional rodeo in Merrill, perfect for the whole family to enjoy. Be sure to get your tickets early. The Wisconsin River Pro Rodeo, June 9th, 10th, and 11th. Fishing for the best deal on a new boat and motor? Then get to American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Pick from hundreds of boats and pontoons in stock at the largest showroom in the USA. Then increase your power with a Mercury motor on your new dream boat. We'll beat any boat price by 500 bucks and trade in your old boat and motor for even more savings. Book the best deal on new boats and Mercury motors at American Marine and Motorsports. Shawno. 
see the exceptional selection of jewelry at Golden Carrot Jewelers. Artistic handmade jewelry by Michu and Bella Twa. Fashion forward designs by Mira T and Frederick Sage. The latest trends and the forever classics from Facet Barcelona, Catan, and more. Your full service jewelry store in downtown Manaqua. Golden Carrot Jewelers has a surprise for everyone. Get the latest news on the weekends with News Watch 12. Saturday and Sunday at 10 with your weekend news team. Kyle Pazorski, Mohammed Abdul Kawi, and Conrad Sutinsky. News Watch 12. News Watch 12 today with Jackie Smith and Devin Biggs. Welcome back. Dramatic new video shows responders using a chopper to rescue a man trapped by rising flood waters Saturday in California. An authority said the man was driving his car when he got swept away in the middle of the, flo of, of the flood at uh, Salinas River in King City. The man was able to escape the vehicle and got to an island in the middle of the river. And responders say the man was shaken but not hurt. So thankfully not hurt but this is why we always tell people, I mean, if you see flooding, turn around, don't drown. We always emphasize this as well. And I did a little research a while back, too, when this topic got brought up again. And uh, guess where flooding ranks for top fatalities, hmm. at least as of recently? Like in, like, like in a number ranking? Yeah, like in a number like ranking. Number four. Try number two. Number two. Number two. Now, number one is actually heat. So it kind of mm. depends on if you count heat or not. Heat is kind of known as the top one cause of death for people because heat exhaustion right. and everything. Yeah, but stroke. number two, flooding. So, wow, and, it's, and it's easily preventable too, but people just throw caution to the wind. I mean, and at that point, I was going on a rant here. So yeah. I could go on a rant, but people don't care for a rant. But <laughs> at this point, they should care for their own safety too. I know people are like, I got to get to work, I got to get to this, I got to get to that. Yeah, I know, but yeah. I mean, at this point, I know it's easier said than done, but arriving late is better than not arriving at all. And I, or just plan ahead and just allow extra time. I mean, it's kind of one of those cases that's planned. Yeah, I, when I know that there's going to be some type of severe weather, no matter what it is, I always try and do everything I need to the day before. And I'm not like a big meal prep person. I go with my like food the day it comes, but if the, I know there's going to be severe storm, I'm like, okay, I'm having this for dinner in the next three days. So here's what I need to start because I'm going to go early because I try to avoid going out in like the bad weather. Yeah, you're you're a scaredy cat for some of the snow. <laughs> I, well, okay, I this is my first winter driving in the snow. I think I'm allowed to be that, a little scared, that is a little right. nervous. That is right. Yeah, you didn't yeah you, you didn't have to worry about driving at all. Period until you moved here. here so, yeah, I didn't have so my license until until a week before I moved here. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a shock though to go to number five snowiest winter on record yeah 93.76 inches of snow over ahead of 92.9 inches was a previous record so number is showing mm -hmm. so it's going to be interesting just like our next three days real quick though we're going to be seeing a slight chance for a few flurries today we're dry tuesday and wednesday a little more coming up after the break and it kept going. What's the perfect way to spend a summer afternoon at your lake home? On the pier made by Pier of Denor. We're making a splash with time-saving piers because you deserve more ways to play and enjoy summer days. Made in St. Germain, come and visit us. What does it cost to buy off a judge? For extremist Dan Kelly, he's for sale for $20,000. In 2020, Kelly conveniently changed his mind about whether to judge the Tim Zignego case. Kelly had recused himself. Then he pocketed $20,000 in contributions from Zignego and his family, and Kelly unrecused himself so he could judge the case. Justice shouldn't be for sale. Dan Kelly is too corrupt, too extreme. Visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Nakusa to experience exciting action on the hottest slot machines and electronic table games. With big fun, you get bigger rewards while playing with your Rewards Club card. Enjoy special gaming offers, food and entertainment discounts, and more. Hungry? No problem. Escape to the oasis of Swiftwater Lounge for drinks, food, and fun. We'll see you at Ho-Chunk Gaming Nakusa, your place to play. Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Efficiencies are critical, which is why you need a lender who will find the right loan structure for a strong financial future. 
You need a lender to look out for your whole farm operation. Ag Country. The new vehicle shortage is over at Brickner's Park City, Jeep Chrysler Dodge and Ram in Merrill. We have over 110 vehicles in stock or inbound for March delivery, with over 50 Jeeps available in all models, including plug-in hybrid Wranglers and Jeep Grand Cherokee. During Ram Truck Month at the Brickner's and Merrill lot, you will find over 35 Ram trucks available. Take advantage of low financing or huge lease rebates on Ram half-ton models and up to $3,000 in cash rebates on Ram heavy-duty models. There's always a whole lot of good going on at Brickner's Park City, Jeep Chrysler Dodge and Ram in Merrill. Guess who's making a splash? Here of Denord, of course. We make installing your dock easy enough for just one person, and you don't even have to get wet. With our piers, there's less maintenance, no rust, and no fuss, because we're factory direct. Made in St. Germain, come and visit us. Builder Service, we are your hometown hardware store. Plumbing, electrical, paint, automotive, keys, tools, lawn and garden. We're more than just a lumber yard. Highway 45 in Elko. Right now on Newswatch 12 today, we'll take you to the Kettlebull Ski Hill and Cross Country tra Trail as they had their annual fun day this weekend. Plus, and the snow continues to fall further down to the south. For us, a few flurries out there, but you have to look further down by Milwaukee to see some snow. The full forecast is coming up. And hear from some people who have started their preparations for the spring and summer seasons. It's Monday, March 13th. News Watch 12 Today with Jackie Smith and Devin Biggs. Good morning and thank you for starting your day with us. I'm Jackie Smith. Michael Lodholtz has the day off. More than 30 firefighters participated in an acquired structure burn on Saturday morning here in the Northwoods. Instructors from North Central Technical College began the training day by briefing the firefighters about different areas of the home and what they would encounter once inside. NTC fire instructors Fire science faculty instructor Dan Conrad said that Saturday's turnout was great. Firefighters came from eastern Marathon County as well as from as far away as Kenosha. We look at structure fires. It's not just one department that shows up. It's multiple departments. They all have to be able to work together, and this gives them the chance to work together before there's an actual emergency. He went on to say that training exercises like these help prepare the area departments for when they are called to emergency scenes. Doing acquired uh, structure burns like this is uh, the best training that a fire department can get because it mimics a real fire in a real house, not just a staged burn room or some prop that is uh, at a school. So this is the best training that these departments can get. The home used for the training was donated by a member of the town of Wassa Fire Department. In total, 35 people participated in the training with the Easton Volunteer Fire Department serving as the host department. And that's definitely very interesting. They kind of get a practice on the real thing. But Devin, I don't know if, I think the snow was probably an extra challenge, but a good extra challenge for them to be prepared. Oh yeah, firefighters, I feel bad for them this time of the year. Though When it gets cold outside, hoses yes. freeze up, they have to fight the snow. Sometimes the fire extinguishers are not dug out, which is a public service announcement there. With all the snow we've got, make sure those fire extinguishers, or excuse me, fire hydrants, yes. if I can talk this morning, <laughs> fire hydrants, make sure those are dug out too. That helps your firefighters and saves precious minutes. But otherwise, let's get things rolling out there this morning. And again, over in Riley, the roads are plowed out there, but it's going to take a little bit this morning. I think I saw a crawl running at the bottom of our screen showing Elko with a two-hour delay this morning. So make sure to check the bottom of your screen or our website from time to time for the latest school closings and delays as they do develop. But otherwise, so for now, though, here our visibility levels are starting to get reduced again in a few spots by Lander Lakes and Mantswish Waters. A few lake effect flurries are developing out there this morning, so we'll keep an eye on that as the day progresses on. With the organized snow tracking near Milwaukee right now, but for us, just a mostly cloudy sky, a few flurries will be expected out there for us today, so we'll keep an eye on that as things do progress forward. But again, a lot of pink on this map, snow or ice covered roads out there, and the blue means slippery stretches though, so we'll have to keep an eye on that too, because that means it might cause a little bit of a slower roll to work. But temperatures right now, or school as well, but temperatures right now, upper teens, even some 20s out there, at least at this point, so definitely cool out there, but we'll warm up a little bit today. We'll be below normal though with middle 20s on the way a slight chance for snow so basically a few flurries out there a mostly cloudy sky and some sunshine peeking out in Langley County the annual fun day took place at the Kettlebell Ski Hill and Cross Country Trail area over the weekend 
The event is held each year at the end of the skiing season to provide a big thank you to the community. The day featured many fun activities for families to participate in, including cardboard sled races. Scott Peterson, a volunteer for the Langley County Ski Club, says it's a great way to give back to the community. Just to give back to the community and uh, show appreciation to all the people that come during the year. We're, we're giving free pizza out, there's prizes, we're having races, we have a, a pond that we're going to ski through at the end of the day. So uh, it's just a great celebration for families. Peterson says the annual fun day attracts lots of local snowboarders, including Seth Bieber, who has been hitting the trail since he was just a kid. Seth says he always looks forward to coming out to Kettable. Well, it's a lot of fun. It's definitely something that I think people should try, and especially with the snow conditions like it is today, goggles are very necessary. That's the thing. I tried going down before without my goggles on, and you just can't see a thing. It's hitting your face, so it's a lot of fun up there, though. It's definitely different looking down from up there. In total, there were more than 2,000 skiers and snowboarders who came out to Kettlebell during the winter season. The annual Central Wisconsin RV and Camping Show returned to Rothschild this weekend. The Central Wisconsin Convention and Expo Center played host to everything from RVs to kayaks and even bikes. The Expo Center was full of attendees preparing for the spring and summer seasons. Show manager Lacey DeWint was happy with the turnout. Everybody is getting ready to prepare for their summer and springs and get out and enjoy the weather that Wisconsin's going to have or anywhere else they want to travel with their campers. Outdoor activities are popular in the Badger State. Lacey says having a camper allows families to experience the beautiful areas around the state while having a bit of comfort. And it's just a great time to get together with family and friends and it's just something that people enjoy to do, get them out of the norm and have a good time. More than 50 RVs were on display for attendees to check out at the expo. The time is 6.04 and coming up we have some news you can use including who Twitter's new competition might end up being. Plus hear what Disney CEO had to say about the future of the company. Stay with us. Goss Cutters doesn't cut corners. Only fresh new looks. Save big this month at Cost Cutters. Buy one, get one half off sale on all styling and finishing products. After 35 years in the home improvement industry, I can tell you that when it comes time to replace windows, most people want to use a solution that's going to last. I'm with Paul Delhunt, president of Renewal by Anderson. So, Paul, how do you know your Fibrex composite window is going to hold up over time? Well, Dean is the full-service replacement division of Anderson. We've known for a long time that our Fibrex material is two times stronger than vinyl and doesn't expand or contract with changes in temperature like vinyl does. So last year, for the first time, we conducted a long-term durability study. So what did you find out? Well, the results were excellent, and after 20 years of brutal Minnesota winters and muggy summers, our windows were as easy to open and close as the day they were installed. And our fiber material remained incredibly strong, no cracking, peeling, or chipping. If you're looking for a replacement window solution that's going to last, look no further than Renewal by Anderson. Call Renewal by Anderson today to schedule your free window diagnosis. Plus, take advantage of this incredible limited time offer. Installation is included. There's never been a better time for you to experience Renewal by Anderson's signature service for yourself. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. Cost Cutters doesn't cut corners, only fresh new looks. Save big this month at Cost Cutters. Buy one, get one half off sale on all styling and finishing products.
Welcome back. Let's get things rolling out there this morning. A fresh snowpack on the ground, and the roads are looking better out there now, but there's still kind of snow or ice covered in a few spots. That's prompting some schools to delay this morning, so definitely make sure to check the bottom of our screen or our website for the latest school closings and delays information. But otherwise, though, we're not, we're not looking too bad right now. Just a few flurries developing your land of lakes and Manitowish waters. We'll keep an eye on that for us today, as that'll be the general idea for us. Mostly cloudy with a few flurries coming off of Lake Superior. But look at the snow totals we received. Wausau, 15.3 inches of snow. Merrill, 12 inches. Rhinelander, 11.3 inches. And other areas are at around 10 inches of snow. So this system definitely overachieved. So we're going to tuck this one away and they'll have a few days to catch up a bit before another system moves in later this week. So otherwise, so here's the general idea. Rhinelander, 29 inches of snow on the ground right now. Wausau, 23 inches. Very impressive snow dust for this time of the year, though. And I'm sure the snowmobilers and skiers are definitely loving this right now too but here's an interesting number here since july 1st or basically since the season began we've got 93.4 inches of snow that is number five though for top snowiest winters the previous record was 92.9 inches of snow so a new record has been set and we're not even done yet too we can add a 0 0.2 inches of snow to this number as well and that'll be reflected in our almanac page and such as we head towards tomorrow once it goes through the national weather service systems but otherwise we do have snow tracking off towards the south and east it's getting close to Milwaukee right now. For us, we're going to be mostly cloudy out there. Maybe a few breaks in those clouds to reveal some sunshine, but a few flurries possible coming off of Lake Superior today as well as that northerly flow. Courtesy of low pressure moving away from us located right about in here and high pressure located right about in there as well. So we get a few flurries for us today and that will back off later on tonight. So a little bit of a break before our next system starts to move in from the west and that will cause more issues. But future cast moving forward today, mostly cloudy sky with a few breaks in the clouds from time to time and a few flurries as well. That backs off later tonight with again maybe a few uh, bits of mostly clear skies later on tonight. So mostly clear, nothing too ridiculous out there and I think future cast is overdoing the clouds just a bit but then by tomorrow a lot of sunshine out there before we have to watch for another system moving in as we head towards Wednesday night and also into your Thursday so we're going to skip ahead here and show that chance for rain as we head towards Wednesday night or early Thursday morning there will then be a break more rain chances as we head towards Thursday evening but a transition line here as we'll switch over to snow overnight and possibly some heavier snow too as we head towards Friday morning the track of the system will decide what kind of precipitation we get and how much of it that we do get but possibly snow snow that could linger through Saturday and maybe early Sunday before it starts to get out of here. So we have time to watch this, but this could cause some problems in a few spots. Temperatures right now in the upper teens to lower 20s out there. Not going to warm up all that much, only to the middle 20s for us today with the mostly cloudy sky with a few flurries. The north wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. For tonight, one below, mostly clear. North wind getting up to about 15 miles per hour. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven-day forecast. Lots of sunshine Tuesday, more clouds by Wednesday. Wednesday. Rain chances Thursday or Wednesday night into Thursday. Then by Thursday night into Friday, we switch over to snow, and that will linger as we head towards a Saturday. The U.S. economy added 311,000 jobs in February. And that's according to the Labor Department's monthly employment snapshot released Friday. It's a drop from January's blockbuster jobs report that reported. 504,000 positions. Even so, February's job numbers were higher than economists predicted. The Federal Reserve has been battling for almost a year to slow the economy and crush the highest inflation in 40 years. But the labor market continues to defy those efforts. It sounds like Twitter may have some competition from Facebook's parent company. Meta says it is exploring building a new standalone platform for sharing text updates. The news might be welcome to Twitter users who have made an exit recently. In recent months, a number of upstart platforms have attempted to capitalize as Twitter struggles with frequent outages, the return of controversial users, and a drop-off in advertisers. Many of those upstart platforms had an early jump in users following Elon Musk's takeover at Twitter, but have since struggled to gain widespread adoption. Bob Iger wants to see less Marvel sequels. The Disney CEO discussed the future of the entertainment giant at Morgan Stanley's annual Technology, Media, and Telecom Conference. He said the company should focus on telling the stories of other Marvel characters. It's part of Iger's plan to create quality content over quantity. 
As for Star Wars, he said Disney is cautious about where they take the, take the franchise next. Iger also discussed pricing. He said the cost of Disney Plus was off at the start. Expect that to be adjusted as the company learns more about streaming. Meanwhile, Iger admitted they were too aggressive with price hikes at theme parks. And on a personal note, Iger said he still plans to resign in two years. The Biden administration is soon set to approve the controversial ConocoPhillips Willow Project. That's the major oil drilling project on Alaska's environmentally sensitive North Slope. And while it has bipartisan support from state lawmakers and some native groups, opposition voices against it are getting louder. Rain Marsh has details. At this point, the only way that this project can be stopped is if on TikTok and Instagram calls for President Biden to stop Willow Project, an urgent call that's gone viral to block a controversial Alaska oil drilling project. Please help stop Willow. The videos ranking up tens of millions of views, spurring more than a million letters to the White House and more than three million signatures to a change.org petition. In order to stop Willow, people need to know about Willow. 20-year-old Elise Joshi, a senior at the University of California, Berkeley, is one of the social media activists. will not just impact Alaska. It will not just impact this country. It will impact the world. But the amount of carbon emissions that it will emit we will see an increase in frequency and intensity of natural disasters. ConocoPhillips Willow Project would be located in northwest Alaska on the National Petroleum Reserve, federal land roughly the size of Indiana. The project would tap as much as 600 million barrels of oil, but it would take years for it to make it to market. It's messy politics for President Biden pitting his climate promises against the desire to produce energy at home and lower gas prices. The project would release as much planet warming carbon emissions per year as adding two million gas powered cars to the road annually. That's according to a government estimate. Loss of taste and smell. Dizziness. Sickenick Maupin's family lives near the proposed site, and she recently traveled to Washington to protest outside the White House against the Willow Project, despite its economic benefits. We've been held in an economic hostage situation. We either choose our health, our children's health, our ways of life, or um, being able to have plumbing and um, infrastructure and running water. Nagruk Hasharik's family has also lived in the region for generations. He supports the project. His nonprofit represents two dozen native communities, corporations and local governments who say the project would be an economic boon and help the U.S. wean off of foreign oil. The economics that a project like this would um, bring into the region uh, mainly to the North Slope Borough in the form of uh, taxes um, to help provide and maintain first world conditions. Meantime, the Arctic is warming four times faster than anywhere else on the planet due to climate change. We cannot keep drilling for new fossil fuels if we want to address climate change. And coming up, we have what's trending, including how you can help yourself adjust to daylight savings time. Plus, check out some beautiful photos from the Mars rover. Those stories up next in What's Trending. The Rhinelander Pub is now open Monday to Saturday. Come enjoy our newly expanded lunch and dinner menu featuring longtime pub favorites and new entree additions. You will love our all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar and Friday seafood buffet. Kathleen Madigan, Boxed Wine and Tiny Banjos Tour. Well, my parents are in Florida in the winter right now, as most Midwest old people with a car. And my parents bought a new car. They bought a black Lincoln Town car. Little did they know that that's one of the more expensive rides on the Uber app. So I have signed them up to be Uber drivers. Kathleen Madigan, Saturday, March 25th at Grand Theater, Wausau. Buy tickets now at the Grand's ticket office at grandtheater.org. Kathleen Madigan. Cracks in brick, cracks in block, call SureDry. Laning or bowing basement walls, call SureDry. Sticking windows or doors, call SureDry. Settling or sinking foundation, that's right, call SureDry. It's a fact, foundation problems don't get better with time. They get better with SureDry. 
Schedule your free estimate today. Come see the fresh changes Woodland Creek Furniture has made to its showrooms. There's an ever-changing selection of unique furniture, much of which is made at Woodland Creek's own facility right here in northern Michigan. Did you know we build custom dining tables, vanities, beds, consoles, and more? New nature-inspired accessories are arriving daily, from lighting and lamps to wall art and rugs. You are bound to find that special accent for your home or office. See hundreds of exclusive designs available only at Woodland Creek in Minocqua. Get everything for organizing your home with helpful storage products from Menards. Designer's Image Closet Solutions are perfect for storing clothes and hanging accessories. These closet solutions are everything you need for keeping your home organized. Add comfort to your living space with marquee carpet. Attach pad backing makes for an easy do-it-yourself project with no stretching required. Stargazer carpet is only $119 a square foot. After 11% rebate, now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The Rhinelander Pub is now open Monday to Saturday. Come enjoy our newly expanded lunch and dinner menu featuring longtime pub favorites and new entree additions. You will love our all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar and Friday seafood buffet. Welcome back. It is 6.18 and it's time for What's Trending. So, did you spring forward this weekend? Did you get it done, Devin? I didn't remember, but man, I, I couldn't get to bed till right after I sprung forward, too, because, mm -hmm. of course, we had active weather going on to keep an eye on that. And I had to resynchronize our weather systems, though, because everything readjusted after uh, after that time change, too. I noticed our weather crawl was off by an hour because oh. of that time change. I'm like, oh, better fix that. So. <laughs> It's been, a, it's been quite a weekend with that time change. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So daylight saving time started Sunday at 2 a.m. So make sure your clocks move forward by an hour. And experts say typically planning ahead is the key to feeling less tired with the time change. So try going to bed and waking up 15 minutes earlier than usual in the days leading up to daylight saving. I think even if you didn't, you could probably still try that now. Just adjust your sleep a little bit. And that way your body can slowly adjust to the earlier start. Not everyone follows daylight saving in the U.S. People in Hawaii, most of Arizona, and U.S. territories in the Pacific and Caribbean don't follow the time change. I think I heard the, some countries across the world, some, I think some still follow the, the time change, though. But, yeah, I do know people are tired of it. Yes, it's a very, like, very split subject. Like, I don't mind it too much, but I am very tired today. My biggest issue... Is it's daylight saving and not daylight savings? Yeah, I know. I say savings with an S. There's a lot of people that say savings with an S, but you look at the calendar or other official yeah. titles, there's no S at the end of savings. But so. savings just sounds right. It's easier to say. I've been trying to be more like cautious and aware of it because when we sprung our clocks backwards, I was saying savings and you kept calling it out. Yeah. So I'm, oh, trying, yeah, that's to, right, I I'm trying to be more aware of it now, but it just doesn't feel natural. I, I know, right? But it's daylight saving time. And uh, yeah, this one's a harder one because you skip forward, you lose an hour of sleep. And then and, and while it's definitely nice with the daylight in the evening, though, it kind of throws you off because it's actually later than what it feels like because we're just not used to it. So it's going to take yeah. probably a week or so for us to get used to it maybe two, two weeks for all we know but yeah. but uh, many will enjoy the daylight in the evening once we're kind of used to this and I know if that bill passes in Congress that kind of keeps this particular time permanent then we don't have to touch those clocks again which will be nice for those that want daylight in the evening yeah well I never changed my oven time so my oven time's been off by an hour for the past few months and I'm so sure now <laughs> it's back to normal and I'm sure you're not the only one that we're does all that a good. lot everyone's like eh, who cares well, I don't use my oven time like I don't look at the time on my oven I look at the time on my phone. Yeah, you're, yeah. when I watched your cat, I saw your oven's in a weird spot, so you don't <laughs> have to worry about that. But even our clocks under the camera yep. are off by an hour this morning. I know the, the bug in our, when we have our time and some bug on the screen, that is correct. So at least the good news is at least the important stuff's fine. Yes, yeah, so that was my skeleton in my closet. Yes, just like our next story. You've heard about a skeleton's in the closet, but how about an alligator in the attic? <laughs> no thanks. In Wilmington, North Carolina, an, an inspector named Dean Brown found a live eight-foot-long gate in the attic of a house he was inspecting this week. At first he thought it was a fake stuffed gator. He continued doing his job. Then looked back and realized it was moving and breathing. <laughs> Workers were evacuated from the home and animal control was called in. And Brown thinks the gator may have gotten in the home through a door that was left open over the weekend. That, Yikes. Yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. He just went on thinking it was fake, went about his day. He probably could have just done it the whole time. 
if he just didn't even look back and see that it was breathing. I know, right? It was a good thing, too, because you never know. Gators, I mean, they, they will go after anything that has, yeah. that's basically, because they, they that's look at moving. as food, including humans. So Yeah, on, that's, I'm curious how it got in there. Uh, for what it sounds like, it must have climbed up a, an open door or something, as I said, the story there. So that's definitely quite an interesting situation. Yeah, quite the view. Sort of like this next story. So here's a view you won't find anywhere on Earth, because this is a sunset on Mars. NASA's Curiosity rover snapped this postcard-worthy picture on February 2nd. The NASA rover has been roaming across the surface of Mars for more than 10 years. And it's searching for answers as to why the red planet went from warm and wet to a frozen desert. It has discovered intriguing rock formations, searched for signs of life, and sealed Mount Sharp at the center of Gale Crater. But rather than, rather than continuing to focus on the near-endless red stretch of rocks and dirt below its wheels, the rover recently has been looking up. And that's how this moment was captured. It's the first time rays of sunlight have been seen so clearly on the red planet. That, was, that looks really cool, though. If you didn't know the full story behind these images, though, you almost wonder if these were taken on Earth. Yeah, because those, those are definitely interesting. Not how I would expect the sun. I mean, that's not how you normally see a sunset. We see pretty, like, orange and red, pink. And colors. But, yeah, or, colors. Sometimes, or sometimes the clouds could give us that gray feel to yeah, one the of gray, those pictures. Yeah. So that is definitely interesting. I'm glad that the rover got a little... Got a little peek up, because I'm sure it's probably very boring there. Oh, I'm sure it's boring, silent, who knows what. Maybe, and I think I think it's captured wind, too, which is definitely very interesting, too. This is like our three-day forecast, which is pretty interesting as far as a little bit of snow again. But just a few flurries today. But we're dry Tuesday and Wednesday before more active weather moves in later in the week. A little more coming up after the break. You can always find great-looking furniture at incredible everyday low prices at Slumberland Furniture. Like these modern sectionals and sofas, starting as low as $3.99. And always free doorstep shipping. Get your look for less at Slumberland Furniture. For 25 years, Janet Protasewicz was a prosecutor, fighting for justice for victims of crime, helping people like her and him and them. She believes everyone has the right to a safe community. As a judge, Janet upholds the Constitution, and she fiercely guards our rights and our freedoms. Judge Janet will bring change to the court. A common-sense, impartial judge who cares about us. Janet Protasewicz for Supreme Court. At Lens Truck, we're all trucks all the time. Nobody has a better selection of used trucks. Ford, Chevy, Ram, GMC, over 800 of the best used trucks money can buy. Buy now and get the highest trade-in value ever at Lens. Go to LensTruck.com. That's LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Lens Truck. We got the trucks at Lens Truck. Eagle River Roasters, your Northwoods coffee roaster and community coffee house has the freshest specialty coffee and tea in the Northwoods. Our coffee comes from choice Arabica beans, hand blended and roasted on premise for the finest specialty drinks. Fresh bakery, breakfast and lunch served daily, our comfortable coffee house is the perfect place for meeting friends or groups. The drive through is also open daily. Treat yourself with a great cup of coffee or take some beans to brew at home fresh from Eagle River Roasters, your Northwoods coffee roaster and community coffee house. Sore back but hate mattress shopping? Yes. Totally dread it. Totally. Totally. Come to Slumberland and see how we've made mattress shopping easy. How easy is that? So easy. So easy. <laughs> Get your sleep solution at Slumberland Furniture. And welcome back. The Recording Industry Association of America, better known as RIAA, has announced that vinyl records have outsold CDs in 2022. It's the first time the medium has done so since 1987. In total, sales for all physical music, which includes cassettes, CDs, and vinyl, topped more than $1.7 billion. RIAA says vinyl made up $1.2 billion of those sales. And this is just for new releases and doesn't include used sales. Streaming is still king overall, with a report showing that physical media only made up 11% of music revenue last year. And that is so exciting. I actually very recently got into vinyl collecting and I camped out last year on Record Store Day. So I'm super excited to see physical music is making its way back 
And we have Devin on the Weather Center. Devin, do you ever, do you still use any albums or CDs? Are you a physical music fan? I, I mean, I used to, though, to be honest. I don't use much of that anymore, uh, though. But it's so I, nice. I, yeah, definitely very nice for those that don't want to mess with online stuff. But yeah, cool to see vinyl making a comeback as well. Otherwise, though, here we are this morning. We have snow on the ground. The pile behind me getting pretty big as well. But temperatures in the upper 20s in western parts of the state today with a mostly cloudy sky. For us, though, we'll be in the middle of 20s with a mostly cloudy sky. Maybe a few flurries today as well. And a little bit warmer farther down to the south. We'll see temperatures in the 30s. Let's check out the birthday club. What does it cost to buy off a judge? For extremist Dan Kelly, he's for sale for $20,000. In 2020, Kelly conveniently changed his mind about whether to judge the Tim Zignego case. Kelly had recused himself. Then he pocketed $20,000 in contributions from Zignego and his family, and Kelly unrecused himself so he could judge the case. Justice shouldn't be for sale. Dan Kelly is too corrupt, too extreme. I was on my tractor mowing some trails on my on my property and uh, had an accident. I lost one leg below the knee and one leg uh, above the knee. Yeah, and I was out of commission. I was in the hospital for a month when Shy called me. We just hit it off from from the very beginning, and that was you know really comforting to have. I would definitely recommend Shy. Working with him ever since and learning how to walk again. Why wait another day? Let's take the next step together towards a better life. I'm with Paul Delahunt, president of Renewal by Anderson. So, Paul, how do you know your Fibrex window is going to hold up over time? Well, Dean is the full-service replacement division of Anderson. Longevity is in our DNA. But last year, we conducted a long-term durability study. After two decades, our windows were as easy to open and close as the day they were installed. If you're looking for a replacement window solution that's going to last, look no further than Renewal by Anderson. Call now to schedule your free in-home consultation and take advantage of this limited-time offer. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. There's no way to count the number of sandwiches you've packed over the years. Hard to imagine this day would come. Yeah, there's still the same fields, the same roads, the same hard work. But now they're in someone else's hands. And you couldn't be more proud of who you're handing the farm to. No matter what the future holds, Ag Country is here to help you plan ahead. Come out to Northern Pines and leave the cooking to us. Have a cold drink and relax as you enjoy the beautiful view of the lake and great food. Try our Friday night fish fry and seafood buffet. Come out to Northern Pines on Butternut Lake. Discover what's trending in the North Woods on Up North at 4 with Nate Myhawk and Jeff Weller. Local conversations about what it means to live, work, and play up north. Weekdays at 4. Uh, looking down the street, we got a pretty good crowd for this being this cold, but uh, we always make the best of it, and it's a sign of spring. Everybody needs to get out and have some fun. Right now on News Watch 12 today, while we're still a few days away from St. Patrick's Day, that didn't stop the festivities from happening in the Northwoods. We'll take you to them. Plus... And definitely still feeling like winter out there. We have a fresh snowpack on the ground and a few school delays out there. Your full forecast is coming up. And hear from Mike Pence on his belief in Donald Trump's role in the January 6th riots. It's Monday, March 13th. News Watch 12 Today with Jackie Smith and Devin Biggs. Good morning and thank you for starting your day with us. I'm Jackie Smith. Michael Woodholtz has a day off. And yes, we, be we definitely got a bunch of fresh snow this weekend, but I know people are pretty, we're running out of places we can put the snow. And Devin, I know we got close to a foot yesterday, but there's just... We're just, there's nowhere to put it. Well, we're having to make space, so for all the <laughs> snow. I mean, you probably have no city around there has been hauling snow, putting in spots, so we can at least see around the corner. So yeah. it's going to be very interesting for a bit as we have more active weather on the way later this week. So March is making up for February for, la for definitely 
how, however you want to look at it. But otherwise, let's get things rolling after this morning. Again, a lot of people traveling out there this morning already. We're going to be watching out for things to improve today. The roads will definitely look to get better as we do proceed forward in time. But otherwise, though, Manitowish Waters, Land of Lakes visibilities are down. This is courtesy of some lake effect snow flurries that we're watching out there this morning. So we'll make sure to keep an eye on that as things do proceed forward in time. All right, so the graphics design have a mind of their own this morning as well. We're all struggling with the time change this morning, right? But otherwise, some snow tracking off towards the south and east will be under a mostly cloudy Guys, today with a few flurries that will be possible as well. And yeah, road conditions not great. A lot of pink on the map still, snow or ice covered roads. We're starting to see a little bit more blue, which indicates plows are working on the roads and becoming at least a little less slippery in a few spots. Our routine's lower 20s for those current temperatures right now. And we're not going to wear out much further though, Mi maybe middle 20s today, which is below normal though. We'll start off in the upper teens in a mostly cloudy sky. As the kids come home, here we go, middle 20s also with a mostly cloudy sky. A celebration of all things Irish took place in downtown Rylander Saturday afternoon with the St. Patrick's Day Parade. The annual event has been a staple in the community for the last 14 years. It takes place on the Saturday before St. Patrick's Day to remind folks that spring is slowly approaching. Organizer Tim Fellon says that the cold weather didn't stop people from coming out to Brown Street. Uh, looking down the street, we got a pretty good crowd for this being this cold, but... Uh... We always make the best of it, and it's a sign of spring. Everybody needs to get out and have some fun. Around 50 floats were in this year's parade, featuring familiar faces, including CT's Deli and the Pine Lake Fire Department. Tim also says the parade gives a boost to downtown businesses. It, uh, the bars downtown make a, have a really good day. They make a lot of extra money for this time of year, and people like me and other people look forward to coming out and having some fun. The organizing group hopes that in the coming years, they can grow the parade into an even larger event. Saturday's parade wasn't the only thing going on in downtown Rhinelander. A tattoo shop on the south end of Brown Street, filling the void studio, offered free temporary St. Patrick's Day inspired tattoos for kids. Owner Danny Fritz told, told us that he was surprised at the number of families who entered the tattoo parlor, exceeding his expectations. I was actually kind of surprised how many kids we actually had come in here. We were outside for one second, they were running down the street yelling tattoos, so it worked out nicely. Fritz says he's happy that he was able to put smiles on the kids' faces. The shop just recently opened back in January. And adding on to the St. Patrick's Day fun, Hanson's Garden Village, located a couple miles south of Rhinelander, hosted a mini leprechaun garden class and scavenger hunt, all designed for kids. It was the first planting class of the Garden Center spring season. Manager Beth Hansen says the main goal of this class is to edu educate kids on what they can do outdoors, saying she enjoys giving children the chance to use their creative skills. The mini gardens are really fun for kids because there's lots of cute little figurines. They get to kind of design their own world within a container. So very creative and some fun, something fun to do on a weekend. Since gardening is a popular activity in the Northwoods, Hansen says creating different ways to engage people is what she is striving for. We're always trying to think of like new and creative ideas to get people to come out and enjoy the greenhouses. A lot of people have spring fever and they obviously are buried in snow right now. So it's just nice to get them in a warm greenhouse, seeing some greenery, get them excited about spring. Hansen's Garden Village will be hosting the event again on Friday at 10 a.m. For more information, you can visit our website, wjfw.com. We are learning about another case of three women who live in Texas, now missing in Mexico. Authorities say three women crossed into Mexico on February 24th to sell clothes at a flea market. Family members say they have not heard from Marina Perez Rio, her sister Martiza, or Dora Alicia Cervantes and are concerned about their safety. State police and the FBI are now investigating. The disappearance of these women comes just days after members of a Mexican cartel allegedly kidnapped four Americans and killed two of their captives. The state of Texas is urging people not to visit Mexico for spring break. The Department of Public Safety there is warning that a spike in drug cartel violence across the border could cost travelers their lives. 
And former Vice President Mike Pence is openly rebuking former President Trump's role in the January 6th riot and says, quote, history will hold Donald Trump accountable. Saturday, Pence spoke at the annual Gridiron Club dinner in Washington, D.C. He slammed Trump, saying Trump's reckless words endangered his family and everyone at the Capitol that day. Pence also said Trump was wrong for claiming he had the authority to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Pence then chastised Republicans who minimized the insurrection and scolded those who have downplayed the people who stormed the Capitol on January 6th as tourists. And he is far from a household name, but biotech and healthcare entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy is hoping to change that. He is running for the Republican nomination for president next year. The 37-year-old told CNN on Sunday he is a candidate because he believes the United States has lost its identity. He said, when you ask people of any age what does it mean to be an American, people respond with a blank stare. Ramaswamy is the third candidate to announce he is running for the GOP nomination. Former President Donald Trump and former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley are candidates as well. In fallout today from the second largest bank failure in U.S. history. Regulators are announcing a plan to ease fears over the failed Silicon Valley Bank in California. Federal re regulators say customers will have access to all of their money beginning today. And President Biden vowed to hold those responsible for this mess accountable. NBC's Bree Jackson has war from Washington. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank set off panic. We have went to two other banks and have started withdrawing the funds. The federal government is stepping in to ensure consumers have access to their money today. But Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen insists there would be no bank bailouts like there were in 2008. The reforms that have been put in place means that we're not going to do that again. Instead, regulators plan to back all SVB deposits and those at Signature Bank in New York, which shuttered Sunday. They'll cover those costs, in part, by using the FDIC's deposit insurance fund. It's not going to cost taxpayers money. The extraordinary move also aims to calm financial markets before trading resumes this morning. Experts weighed in on what they believe is the root cause of the second largest bank failure in U.S. history. Banks are free to fail when you have a change in interest rates like we've had over the past several, several months, the most aggressive rate hike cycle uh, in two generations. Some banks' business models are not going to work anymore. The White House hopes to ease fears that more banks could follow. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. And coming up next, while the roads aren't too great here in the Northwoods, NASCAR is heated up in Arizona this weekend. We'll have all the highlights and excitement from the Phoenix Raceway. All right, so things are starting to calm down out there now. Roads may be slippery for a bit, but we will see some improvement. Your full forecast is coming up next. We're getting ready for St. Patty's Day with a classic combo that will make your mouth water. So come along and join us. Bolger Cremation and Funeral Services in Woodruff. There's something new from Better Than Bouillon. Introducing the Culinary Collection. Exciting new flavors like sofrito for casseroles or adobo for fajitas. Each adding a little something special to all your family favorites. But don't take our word for it. The Culinary Collection from Better Than Bouillon. Reynolds Wrap makes this whole cooking and cleanup thing so easy. It speeds up this so I can get to them. Easy prep, cook and clean with Reynolds Wrap. To all the Chevy Silverado owners out there, the adventurers, and the doers, thank you for making Chevy Silverado the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups. And current Chevy owners get 2500 cash allowance on this Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. For 25 years, Janet Protasewicz was a prosecutor, fighting for justice for victims of crime, helping people like her and him and them. She believes everyone has the right to a safe community. 
As a judge, Janet upholds the Constitution, and she fiercely guards our rights and our freedoms. Judge Janet will bring change to the court. A common sense, impartial judge who cares about us. Janet Protasewicz for Supreme Court. These days, news seems to come from all directions, and it can be overwhelming. Simplify your intake by watching News From Where You Live, WJFW, NBC News Watch 12. We deliver critical local and national news, sports highlights, and weather updates. Watch us daily on Channel 12. Visit us at WJFW.com or like us on Facebook. We are NBC News Watch 12. Welcome back. Let's get things rolling out there this morning. Things looking pretty good out there. A lot of the snow is pretty much backed off, at least at this point. The road's still a little bit slippery out there, so definitely allow some extra time to get to your morning destinations here. But we've had some decent snowfall here, around 10 inches in a few spots, like Minocqua and Anago. We're only under 11.3 inches. That, that counts 0 0.2 inches I measured outside this morning. Merrill at 12 inches and 15.3 inches, a report we got out of Wausau, so some impressive snowfall that took place there. Well, calming down now. As all this is tracking off towards the south and east, we still have a few flurries moving in this morning. We'll keep that going for most of the day, as otherwise we'll be mostly cloudy. Zooming things out and giving you the bigger picture, low pressure is tracking off towards the east, pulling the snow with it. We have high pressure here that's going to be moving in. And even though we will have high pressure, the sky won't really clear out until later on tonight. So future cast moving forward will be under a mostly cloudy sky for us today. Maybe a few flurries at times. Future cast tries to hold on to the clouds tonight. I do not agree with that. I do believe we'll be mostly clear tonight. That will allow temperatures to cool off in a few areas. Before, we'll, we'll, before we see lots of sunshine as we head towards your Tuesday, and that will help to make the roads improve if they don't recover much for us today. But then we'll have to watch for a little bit more active weather on the way again, and especially as we head towards Wednesday night and also in your Thursday. We're going to start seeing clouds increasing and a chance for rain. Yes, rain as we head towards early Thursday morning. Before we catch a little bit of a break, we push this through. More rain pops as we head towards Thursday evening with a little bit more snow that will start to move in as we head towards early Friday morning. That transition line will track to the south. Where it tracks, so it's still a little bit uncertain, but we're starting to see a little bit more agreement that we'll see a transition of snow. We could see some significant snowfall along or north of Highway 8, at least as it's looking right now. We'll definitely keep an eye on this as it does develop. We'll push the system that will cause some wind as well on toward the east, and this will keep the snow going at least through early Sunday morning before it starts to taper off. So temperatures right now are in the upper teens, so even some lower 20s out there, at least at this point. So cool out there, holding on to that snow, and we'll hold on to it today. Although the sun energy, the sun's energy, may be that the sun's energy may help to melt a little bit of that snow moving forward as well. The middle 20s today, mostly cloudy with a few flurries out there. The north wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. Tonight, one below, mostly clear as well. The north wind getting up to about 15 miles per hour. So getting chilly out there later on tonight. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven-day forecast. Lots of sunshine for you Tuesday with highs in the lower 30s. We're dry Wednesday with the mostly cloudy sky. A little bit of rain possible Wednesday night, also lasting into Thursday. Thursday night, we switch to a wintry mix before we go to all snow for your Friday. Also, St. Patrick's Day as well before we watch out for a little bit of leftover snow as we head towards your Saturday. Race Watch 12 with Kate Heidemann is brought to you by Builder Service, Menke Buick, GMC Mazda, and Next Step Prosthetics. The NASCAR Cup and Xfinity Series turned to Phoenix Raceway this past weekend to finish out the West Coast Swing. Not nearly as many drivers are doing both races this weekend, but a couple important ones to mention is Kyle Busch going two weeks in a row in the number 10 for Colleg, and Josh Berry, who made a second cup start, subbing in for an injured Chase Elliott in his number 9 Camaro. Junior Motorsports had a strong qualifying run heading into this race. Justin Allgaier starts front row here. He was slow in the opening of this race, with Cole Custer finally showing some speed he seemingly lacked last week. He'd maintain his lead through the first caution, but there would be a second that would prove to be his undoing. Justin Allgaier would once again start front row alongside Custer, and this time he'd be able to capitalize on the opportunity. He would take the lead and bring it across the line to take stage one. Stage two saw some fresh faces start out front. Sam Mayer and John Hunter Nemechek led the pack to the line, with Nemechek being the one to pull out ahead. John Hunter seemed to have the stage one until a caution at 15 to go. During the restart, he got penalized for going below the yellow line here and would have to drop to the back. Austin Hill then took and held the lead when at six to go in the stage, Josh Berry got spun. It was at this caution that most of the field decided to pit with very few staying out. Among those few was none other than stage one winner Justin Allgaier. He led the field through the restart and led to the stage's end.
Even though Nemechek may have had his day ruined, the other Joe Gibbs drivers were absolutely flourishing in their final stage here. Sammy Smith, who had been running up towards the front all day, would get his chance to lead, being able to beat up both Austin Hill and Daniel Hemmerich off a restart. Although no one could catch him on speed, they sure could if a caution was thrown, and that's exactly what happened. Four whole times. None of these were inherently big pileups, but the most notable caution was the one that came out for Justin Allgaier. He would get tangled up in a couple separate crashes here that would completely end his day. From winning stages one and two to now falling to the back of the field, it was a tough day for him. But through all these cautions, one thing stayed the same. Sammy Smith always came out the leader. He would hold it the rest of the race to win his first ever Xfinity Series race. In the Cup Series, we saw an all too familiar sight. An all Hendrick front row, with Kyle Larson and William Byron taking the field to the green. Larson would lead a whopping one whole lap before William Byron took over and didn't drop it for the rest of the stage. He'd win it with a two and a half second deficit over his teammate Kyle Larson. Stage two started off pretty much where stage one left off. This time the Hendrick car on top in this start was Kyle Larson, who was able to keep William Byron behind him. Just like stage one, it would be, for the most part, uneventful. One caution would come out for Eric Almirola, whose wheel came off after the car hit the wall. The rest of the stage would be incident-free, though. Larson and Byron came around for a 1-2 finish on the stage, followed by Kevin Harvick, who had been gaining strength over the course of the race. The Hendrick duo would finally be split on this round of pit stops, thanks to Kevin Harvick, who beat out William Byron. The top three would stay the same for most of the stage until 44 laps to go. Kevin Harvick finally closed in on Kyle Larson to take the lead from him. Harvick would have a trouble-free lead up until 10 to go when a caution came out for Harrison Burton. Harvick would lose the lead here during pit stops, opting for four tires when six others took two and came out in front of him. Just like the start of this race, the front row for this restart is Kyle Larson and William Byron. This run wouldn't last long, however. Four drivers hit the wall here, sending the race into overtime. They line up one more time, and William Byron will be the one to take the truck at flag for the second week in a row. The NASCAR truck, Xfinity, and Cup Series return next week for Atlanta Motor Speedway for some super speedway action. For Race Watch 12, I'm Kate Heideman. And of course, it's Monday, so that means it's time for today's Mugshot Monday winner. A special congratulations to Kevin Bartlin from Three Lakes. You win a mug, a bag of coffee, and a 20% off coupon courtesy of Eagle River Roasters. The information to enter into the Mugshot Monday contest is right there on your screen. And coming up, see how you can put your chili to the test this weekend. But first, Howard is in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe for classic corned beef and cabbage. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers. It's almost St. Patrick's Day, and that means we'll be celebrating in a big way. It also means we'll need a big meal to welcome it in style. So today, we're cooking up a classic hearty favorite that's Irish inspired, yet actually has American roots. All we do is place a raw corned beef in a large soup pot, or we can use a Dutch oven, and cover it with some water. Just make sure you add the little package of pickling spice that comes with it, cause it gives it a load of flavor. Okay, we let that simmer for a couple of hours. Meanwhile, we peel and cut a few potatoes into good sized chunks, and to save time, which we always want to do, we add a package of baby carrots. This way we don't have to peel and cut them. And what's corned beef without cabbage? So we cut ahead into wedges and add it along with our veggies right on top of our almost tender meat. You see, adding our veggies now ensures that everything cooks up tender at the same time. We'll cover it and let it simmer till our veggies are cooked through and they absorb all that meaty flavor from the corned beef. And let me tell you, this smells amazing. And when we slice this tender as can be corned beef across the grain and serve it up with all those steamy hot veggies, just watch all your leprechauns come running right to the table. The recipe for our classic corned beef and cabbage is online now just in time for St. Patty's Day, or really any day. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found the look of the Irish way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. You can always find great-looking furniture at incredible everyday low prices at Slumberland Furniture. Like these modern sectionals and sofas, starting as low as $3.99. And always free doorstep shipping. Get your look for less at Slumberland Furniture. What does it cost to buy off a judge? For extremist Dan Kelly, 
He's for sale for $20,000. In 2020, Kelly conveniently changed his mind about whether to judge the Tim Zignego case. Kelly had recused himself. Then he pocketed $20,000 in contributions from Zignego and his family, and Kelly unrecused himself so he could judge the case. Justice shouldn't be for sale. Dan Kelly is too corrupt, too extreme. At Eagle Floor Covering in Eagle River, we have a knowledgeable staff, competitive pricing, and free estimates. Browse our selection of carpet, vinyl, wood, and tile for your next home project. Hi. Have you seen that realtor with all those billboards? Hold my beer. Local award-winning injury lawyers get Nicolay. At WJFW, our News Watch 12 News team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most of all to the North Woods. Our team is committed to the community and ensuring that you are as informed as possible. NBC News Watch 12, news from where you live. Sore back but hate mattress shopping? Yes. Totally dread it. Totally. Totally. Come to Slumberland and see how we've made mattress shopping easy. How easy is that? So easy. So easy. <laughs> Get your sleep solution at Slumberland Furniture. News Watch 12 Today with Jackie Smith and Devin Biggs. The snowy weather is the perfect time to perfect your chili recipes. And once you have the perfect pot to knock people's socks off, bring it down to the Northwoods Harley-Davidson Chili Cook-Off this weekend. On Saturday, starting at 11 a.m., you can bring your chili in to be judged. Make sure you prepare your chili at home and bring it in a crock pot or other warming device. Prizes will be awarded for first, second, and third place. And the Arborvita Fire Rescue Team will be there with one of their fire trucks and a boot drive for donations. Ooh, nothing better than yummy chili, especially after the snow we had yesterday. Yeah, good chili, some good soup to help warm you up with all this snow. Because, yeah, I had to clean off my car yesterday to go to the store, and it was some heavy snow. It was a lot of work. Yeah, it was definitely a little bit more water in that snow, which definitely made it very interesting. And, uh... 29 inches of snow on the ground. That's a lot of snow. That's a lot of yeah. Some people are running out of places to put it. We're just creating piles and piles and piles. I know, right? I, I, I've seen uh, Rhinelander, uh, the, the Rhinelander, uh, the well, my goodness, the Public Works Department. Yeah. My goodness, I can't spit anything <laughs> out this morning. It's, it's a, a Monday. Change. It's a Monday after a time change, so the brain doesn't want to work. Things, but yeah, but yeah the, Rhinelander Public Works Department. They've been busy hauling that snow to other spots, so we can see the curve, so we can push more snow as appropriate. So it's been very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Monday after a time change after a snowstorm. We oh, are, man. There is not, the world is working against everyone today. And I work Saturday and, work Saturday and then get to bed till 3 a.m. Sunday morning after all the snow and the time change and making sure equipment was working. Mm -hmm. It was a long weekend. I can imagine. I had a migraine yesterday, so it was a yeah, long weekend. I took a nap too. before I went to bed. That's how bad it was. But anyway, yeah. though, I think we're ready for a little bit of trivia, right? Always ready. Maybe that'll help. that could have helped my migraine yesterday. There you go. What is the highest snowfall Mount Rylander received? in a single winter, so basically the snowiest winter on record. This is 125.8 inches, 120.1 inches, 116.3 inches, or 110.3 inches. The answer when we come back. Habish attorneys are the best of what a personal injury attorney is about. To get the most money for your case, you need to have a law firm that's unrelenting. We will fight with all that we have in person power, in knowledge, and experience to bring about the result they deserve. I can't give them their life back how it was, but I can give them the financial compensation to get their life back on track. Bad Boy Mowers. Born here. Raised here. Tested here. Advanced engineering and power, a groundbreaking three-link suspension, and personalized settings built for here, the fields, front lawns, and backyards of America. Bad Boy. Mo with an attitude.
Hey, Dad, look. Us. This isn't the magma chamber. Like... Uh-huh. This isn't us, is it? When did we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? She's not answering. What? And when our phones have turned us into this, LT, what do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. Feels good. And let's find <laughs> us again. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Do you know the secret to losing up to one pound of fat every day? At Wausau Weight Loss, we know the secret. Our unique doctor-supervised program makes it easy to lose weight, get healthy, and get your energy back safely, naturally, and effectively. If you'd love to lose unhealthy fat without counting points or calories, no exercising, no prepackaged meals, no HCG, no drugs, no hypnosis or surgery, call Wausau Weight Loss today at 715-203-8695. Hi, I'm Janelle. I've lost 70 pounds in 30 inches. I know the secret. I feel great now after losing the 70 pounds. I can do stairs. I don't have pain through the day, through the night. As a breast cancer survivor, I knew I needed to lose the weight to prevent future health issues. I feel great, leaving each day with hope for my future. For your free private weight loss consultation, call Wausau Weight Loss today at 715-203-8695. We know the secret.com. Our News Watch 12 News team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most to the Northwoods. NBC News Watch 12, from where you live. And a special birthday shout out to our country store winner this morning, Betty Conway from Crandon. Happy birthday and congratulations. You win a free ice cream cone and scoop from the country store in Eagle River. All right, trivia. What is the highest snowfall amount Rhode Islander received in a single winter? I'm going to guess 120.1. All righty. You're just a little oh. off. 116.3 inches. That was a 2018-19 winter season. My first winter up here. So oh, wow. what a way to get welcomed yes. up here. And at least you got welcome welcome at, at least, least a top, top five, five winter. We'll see if we can add that up a little bit more with our next system moving in later this week. So that's definitely going to be interesting. And I mean, 93.4 inches. The previous record was 92.9 inches set last season. So that's pretty interesting. It should actually say 93.6 inches. Mm -hmm. That's 0.2 inches. We'll go through the National Weather Service tonight.